What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sass, and I'm back with another one. Straight facts. If you haven't heard, if you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this beautiful, lovely channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side so you get notified when I post. And last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, this one, this one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for me and for the whole team. Um, I want to just tell y'all, I am, uh, I just want to tell y'all, I am sorry for the, the late uploads. Your girl works. I work from 8 to 5. Oh, let me get off the side. I'm all, I'm all in the way. But, your girl, your girl works from 8 to 4.30 or 8 to 5, depending on, like, how early I come or how late I come or whatever it may be. But um, I am sorry for the late uploads. I'm sorry that y'all getting all the late uploads. But I need y'all to go watch the videos. Watch the videos. Tell me what y'all like about it. I'm going to do more late content. I'm going to. Um, y'all probably won't get this video until tomorrow. So I can put tomorrow's vlog with today. Because um, I'm about to go to the studio. So I don't know when I will be back at home to upload for y'all and i don't want to do a too too late upload um eight or nine is fine but i don't want to do 10 11 or 12 you know because that's dead rolls into tomorrow's vlog so um i'm gonna i'm trying to stay consistent with y'all i'm trying to stay consistent with y'all but y'all have to do me a favor and y'all have to subscribe to my channel like the video comment on the video comment your favorite part comment any future collabs comment anything that you liked about the video comment any future videos that y'all want me to do anything y'all want me to do can y'all y'all can just leave it down in the comments make sure y'all share my video send it to your mama your daddy your uncle your brother your cousins your neighbors everybody send it to everybody and tell them come join my team wait and tell them come join life of sassy and tell them come join life of a sassy channel but i just love work and it is currently, I told y'all I'll be leaving late. It's almost five right now. It is 4.59. It's 4.59. So um, I'm leaving the place right now. And I'm about to go to the dance studio with my friends. I haven't been to the dance studio in so long. And I am tweaking to dance. So I'm going to vlog that. And then it's going to be a part of tomorrow's vlog. Because I'm going to try to go to Bath and Body Works tomorrow. But yes. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned. I just wanted to blow for you good night <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
y'all i am continuing vlogmas day three so i did a little christmas shopping and i also got chick-fil-a so i got chick-fil-a and i'm about to do a little yeah i don't know this camera is just not cooperating right but i got chick-fil-a and i'm about to do a type of like a mukbang so i'm about to do a mukbang i don't know what i am going to talk about you know what i'm going to talk about everyday life everyday life so all right, I got y'all. Y'all gotta try. Y'all have to try. Um, the camera keeps sliding, but y'all have to try the um, what is it called? The sweet, the sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. Oh my god, it's bussy. Um, and I got my regular Polynesian sauce, and I got me a milkshake. Oh my god, the top. I don't know. If they gave gave it to me like this, or it came off, but I have been drinking some of it, so. But I got me a little Oreo milkshake, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works. So, I also went to Bath and Body Works. Some goodies in here, and y'all know I didn't know this. I got the email saying that it was Candle Day, but it's Candle Day yesterday and today. So I ended up getting, I have this lotion and I have this hand sanitizer, but this right here, so good. It smells so good. I love, I love this. Um, and I got some seasonal cause I like to try the seasonal. I have tried like all of the regular fragrances, like, um, sun is going down, but, um, I have tried, I have tried the regular fragrance fragrances from Bath and Body Work um already. Yes, I have tried the um y'all it's so dark. I don't know what's going on. There you go. So I have tried the regular fragrances from Bath and Body Work like gingham, um Japanese cherry blossom, cactus blossom, cactus boom, a cactus blossom or something like that. Um champagne toes, forever no um your your love forever in the stars i know like all of them i know all of them because I, that's my store it is getting dark and then light and then dark and then light right, i'm gonna put y'all in the steering wheel <laughs> i'll put y'all in this in not in the steering wheel but in the what you call it because it's not it's not like acting right and i'm trying to position y'all so y'all can see me We just gonna do it like that. But like I was saying, I got this already. I gotta hurt me eat my foods. But I got this. I love um oh it smelled good, just taking it out. But I have this um hand sanitizer and I have that lotion. Um, and then I have Winterberry Wonders. Trying to get to focus on. I have Pure Wonder. I have, and then, oh, I knew this was going to smell good. So I saw this 
And I knew it was, I saw it online. I knew it was going to smell good. So I got the lotion and the the fragrance. Um, this is Snowflake and Cashmere. I know it's, it smells so good. I knew it was going to smell good when I bought it. And then I went to Children's Place. That's why I came back to Children's Place. I feel like, I feel like they... It was too many young girls in there, and it was ringing like double, double of the stuff that I had. I only have six things, and on my receipt, I, I see the receipt in my email, and it's only eight things. It's eight things, but I have six things. So you overcharge me, and the shit don't tell me, like children's place. Them, them was expensive. So I came to get some of my money back because you you overcharged me. That's what it was. So I went to children's place too. Um. And today was like a little shopping sort of kind of day or whatever. I went to get my tires rotated and tires fixed and stuff like that. So I'll leave it from here for right now. I gotta eat. But everyday in life situations, I'm gonna give it to y'all brief and simple. So basically, I feel like high school semi prepare you, but it don't prepare you all the way. Some of the things like about credit, I took a um, a um, what is it called? I took a marketing class, a business. I took a business. I took a business and marketing class, so it kind of like prepared you a little, but not all the way, cause we didn't. I didn't know about credit. Like I was saying, I didn't know about credit. And some of the stuff that they teach you. But luckily, that's why I try to get my cousins and my nieces and nephews and stuff like that to be involved in school. Because I was involved in a lot. And luckily, like I was in a, I was in a project ready class, which taught you how to prepare and get ready for college resumes and all of that scholarships all of that i was in that and it kind of prepared you a little but not bills everything and i'm to the point where now i can manage but i don't like it like they said this adult shit <laughs> when like they say, uh, oh my God. But like they said, this adult shit is ghetto. Maybe I lean over here. But like they say, this adult shit is ghetto. And it really is. Like, it's ghetto. Like, who wants to be paying bills? I got to dedicate all my time to my car new, my car insurance, phone bill, apartment bill, on rent, cable, Wi-Fi, all of that. Like, who wants to water bill? All of that. Like, it's the ghetto. But, I feel like the point I'm at in life right now, I'm content, but it's not where I want to be. Like, for example, yesterday, a social worker, she came in the office and she was talking about, she came in the office and she was talking about her full-time job. And she was saying that she got a degree in criminal justice, but she works um, with sex trafficking. And she's the forensic person with sex, sex trafficking. And I'm like, ooh, like, I would like that. I would like that. And I feel like I haven't reached my full potential, my full peak yet. That might be something I need to get into. Oh! I was about to be hurt. You know, so that's why I drop on my hand. I'm about to be hurt if that shit went on that flu. But. Yeah, like I was saying. I feel like I'm content, but it's not where I want to be. I'm still trying to get up, pardon me. Um, I'm, I got a lot, a lot of stuff that I'm trying to achieve. Within next year. And I'm going to push myself. I've been pushing myself and I'm going to continue to push myself. But 
life hit you. Life hit you hard. And sometimes you got to shake the hell, like, you got to shake yourself, but somebody got to shake your ass and be like, um, bitch, wake up. You get your sh I just told my best friend. I'm like, you keep hopping from job to job, and you have okay paying jobs like Amazon, FedEx. They pay decent. And then plus, if you're working full time, 40, 50 hours a week, you, you're making money. And I guess this month and a half was a, was a test run for her. But one of my best friends is 30. You're 30. And I told her soon you'll be 35. Soon you'll be 40. You, you, you trying to, I understand, I understand. She probably didn't know what she wanted to do two years, three years, four years ago. But it's time for you to buckle down. You can't be playing around, hopping from job to job. It don't look right. It don't, it don't look right. When you applying for all these different jobs and they saying, okay, she was here only for two months. She was only here for a month. Then why she left, you know? It don't look right. It's time for you to get your shit together. And I, I mean, I had to give it to a raw and uncut, but that's just how I felt. That's just how I felt as a best friend. And I would expect my best friend still to do the same thing. If I'm lacking or if I'm, you know, lacking on my part or not doing my part or holding up my end of the bargain, I expect for them to come to me and be like, bitch, what you doing? You need to get your life together. Like, what are you doing? And... That's how I felt. So, she probably felt some type of weight at the time being. But I didn't care. That was coming from a place of hope. I mean, a place of love. But, I say all that to say, life hit you. And sometimes you have to be mentally, physically, emotionally ready for, for that. People say, Oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to get my own house. I want to get my own car. But it comes with responsibilities. You can't just say, oh, or if God bless you with this house, how are you going to pay the bills? How are you going to keep up? How are you going to keep it up? If God bless you tomorrow with a nice ass car, how are you going to maintain that car? And I told my little brother, I'm like, if you get another car, it's more than just riding. You have to make sure you're you have to um maintenance the car. It's just like it's just like getting Yeah, it's just like getting a car or getting something that you really like. And if you don't keep up the maintenance or the wear on it, it's gonna eventually I don't know what that means. Probably my memory full. I don't know what that means. Hold on. Oh, it's hot. The temperature. That's what it look like. That's what that means. But I'll be back.